بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک کنفیگر ایکسپورٹ آف رپورٹ کانٹینٹ اینڈ پرفارم این ایکسپورٹ وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن انہینس رپورٹس فار یوزیبلٹی اینڈ اسٹوری ٹیلنگ سو اگین دس ٹاپک واز ناٹ ڈسکسڈ ایلیئر بیکاز اٹ ہیز سم تھنگ ٹو ڈو ود دا پاور بی ایس سروس So what we are going to do in this video is that we are going to go first in Power BI desktop and see what are the export options related to the export of report content and then we are going to actually perform an export and see what is there and then we are going to repeat the same process inside of Power BI service and there we see what are the options which are different in terms of Power BI service and then we are going to perform an export. So let's first go to the Power BI desktop environment and see what options are available there. So here I am inside the Power BI desktop environment and I am going to go in the option which is says file and here I have an option which says export. So here I am going to find two options. First one is Power BI template and the other one is export to PDF. So we are going to talk about the template file in a bit but let me just have a look at the export to PDF option. So if I just go and click on export to PDF it is going to start exporting a PDF version of the report. So let's just, uh, this process be complete and then we will see what is there in the PDF file. So after a few minutes, the process has been completed and here what you are going to see is that all the report pages in the Power BI desktop environment have been exported in a PDF file. So here if I just go through the PDF file, I'm going to see whatever is there on all the report pages. So this is an option which is available inside the Power BI desktop environment. So now let's have a look at the other option which is Power BI template file. First let us understand that what is a Power BI template file. So Power BI template file is a file that is similar to a desktop file but it has an extension .pbit. So with Power BI desktop templates, workflow can be streamlined by creating a report template based on an, an, an existing template which can be shared with other users in the organization as a starting point for the new reports, layout, data model and queries. So once you are working on a Power BI desktop file, the Power BI desktop file also has everything that is related to the data model. So actually the actual data is part of the desktop file. But what happens is that if you want to save the file as a template that can be used by another user, you can, you can just save it as a template file and then allow the user of the template file to actually build a desktop file out of the template. So what it actually means? Actually means that once you save a desktop file as a template file, it contains the following information that was generated on the original desktop file. It contains information on the report pages, the visuals and all the other visual elements, the data model definition, including the schema, relationships, measures and model definition items and all query definitions such as queries, query parameters and other query elements. But the important bit here is that the data, the data of the report is not included in the file. So you have a data model schema, but the data model schema has no data. So that is why the Power BI template file is very small as compared to a desktop file and is a, a process and, and this is a easier method of actually uh, building a report from scratch. So once the user would get that template file, he is going to just open that file just like a Power BI desktop file and the, then the process would start with the query parameters. If there are any query parameters, then those can be configured and then the actual data will be loaded for the first time in that file and then you need to save that file. So this is how a Power BI template file works. So let's now go and see how we can actually save this template file and then we are going to open that template file to show how it is different than the Power BI desktop file. So here again, I'm inside the Power BI desktop environment and I'm just going to go and click on file here. And again, I'm going to go in the export option and then I'm going to click on the Power BI template. So it is going to ask me if I want to just put any comments. So I will just write Power BI template file. Okay. And then it is going to ask me that, okay, what, what is the 
file path where you want to share that template file. So let me just give here a file path. So let me just give it a name, uh, Mar Mar Maven Market Report 1. And then I'm going to click here on Save. So here I am in the desktop uh, folder in the Windows folder. So here you can see that I have this original desktop file, which is the Power BI desktop file. So the icon here you can see is a bit different than this, this icon. And this file, let me just click here and show you the properties of this file. So you are going to actually see that this is a Power BI template file. It's not a Power BI PBIX extension. So it's a PBIT file. And the other thing that you must have noticed is here that the difference in the size of the file. So this is my original desktop file and this is my PBIT file. And you can see that it is almost less than half the size and the reason that there is no data inside this file. So it is everything uh, included less the data. So that is why this is a uh, the size of this file is, is, is uh, very small. So let me now just go and open this Power BI report template file. So now I have simply opened that template file and what you are going to see here is that instead it has opened a desktop file which is untitled. So automatically it creates a new desktop file and the other thing that you're going to see here is that if there is any query parameter that is part of your original desktop file then you are going to be specified by this. So remember we, that there was this automatic parameter that was created once we were doing the appending uh, in the initial of uh, some of the initial videos. So I'm just going to uh, stick with these settings here and I'm just going to click here on load. So now the process of loading has actually been started and now the report is being populated here. So here you can see that now the data has been included in the report and this is something which is similar to what is there already in the file. So the, the point is that the, the, the file is shared without the data and then once you actually open the file and then the data is loaded for the very first time. So the, so the size of the file, if you have to share it with someone, then the size of the, so the file is very small because there is no data, although the data model is present, but there is no data. And if you want to make any changes, then you can just make those changes. So this is all about the Power BI template file that we actually export from the Power BI desktop environment. So now let's go and see what are the export options available inside the Power BI service environment. So here I'm inside the Power BI service and I'm inside the workspace that I created. And remember that in one of the earlier videos where we were looking at the sensitivity labels, the sensitivity labels have been applied on both the data set and the report. So here the export options are available inside the Power BI report that was published. So let me just click here on the report and you are going to see that it is going to open up something that we have already seen. And this is the actual report that, uh, that was published. So remember previously in, in the videos, we were looking at the data set, but now this is the first time that we are actually looking at something related to the report. And here you can see that this is again, the same confidentiality level that has been associated. So this message is going to be there and it is always going to uh, inform you that there is some kind of a sensitivity label that is associated with this particular report. So if I go and click on the export, then I am going to find that there are three options which allow me to export the data. So the first one is Excel, the second one is PowerPoint and the third one is PDF. So let me just go and explore just one and let me tell you that how the how the confidentiality information is actually working behind the scenes so that you have an understanding. Then we are going to remove that confidentiality information and then we are going to see that how the data actually looks like. So just let me first go and click on the PDF so that a PDF file can be exported. So here you have certain configurations that you can do. So you can either configure with the current values of the data which are shown in the report, then only you can uh, or you can you can do it for the current report page. So if you just want to um, export the data for one page, which is the current page that is shown here, you can actually go and select this option. Otherwise, it is going to go and select uh, everything, all the report pages similar to what we saw in the desktop option earlier. So let me just configure it for the current page and then I'm going to click here on export. So after a few minutes, you will be prompted that the file has been 
has been exported to the PDF. So now let me just go and open that PDF file. So here now I have opened that particular PDF file and the thing that you are seeing here is because of the settings that we applied. So here now the Microsoft security and, and the Microsoft purview information protection kicks in. So remember we had set this data to confidential and so now here it is asking me for my email ID and it is going to ask me that okay do I have the privileges to go and see what is inside the data. So if you have the privileges like if I have the privileges because of my role in the in the overall organizational environment and if I ha have my email ID and my password uh, authenticated then I am going to access the data otherwise you will not be able to access the data so you can do this on your own and you can figure out because I'm, I'm not going to actually go and show you the process the point of uh, highlighting this was that if you have some kind of a sensitivity label assigned then this aspect that we talked about in the sensitivity label video is taken care of so now let me just go back to the environment again the power bi service environment and let me remove the confidentiality sensitivity label and then we are going to explore how the data looks like in the powerpoint environment so i am back in the power bi service and what i have done is that i have removed the sensitivity labels from both my uh, report and my and my data set so now i'm going to go in the microsoft in the in the maven market report here and i'm going to go and again i'm going to link or click on the export option and here now i have the option embed an image and embed live data for powerpoint so what actually it does is that you have the option to actually embed the current report page which is which is shown here as an image in powerpoint or also i have the option to embed my uh, live data so the complete report can be embedded in the power powerpoint environment as inside a new um, power bi powerpoint file so i would have a new powerpoint file and my report would be embedded with the live data the option to actually show the live data inside of powerpoint so this is a very powerful option and this option you can actually use while you are presenting data similarly if you have already a powerpoint file open in your system then you can actually now if you are connected on the same tenant then you can actually embed it through the link inside of powerpoint as well so let me now, now just do it for the live data here so here it opens the embed live data in powerpoint option here and here you can see that the report page link is also available so if i want to just copy it and paste it in my in a powerpoint file where uh, where i am already using it then you, the, here it, it says that you can just paste it in the uh, in the in the presentation and you are going to actually have the report so other other than this you can also open it in a new file inside the powerpoint environment so let me just click here so after a few seconds you will be notified that okay the powerpoint file you have to actually give it a name and that will be saved in your OneDrive environment. So I've given it the name Microsoft Power BI Storytelling and this file is now available in the OneDrive environment. So here you can see that a new PowerPoint file has opened and it has my live report embedded as part of the PowerPoint slides. So here I can just go and play around with the report and here you can see that this is a live report link and i can just click here on anything that i want and i can actually go and see so remember this was just one visual so that is why this is the only interactable part of this particular uh, of this particular report so you can do it for for anything that you want for for your report and uh, you can also embed an image like like we saw so i'm not going to show you how to embed an image the process is similar either you just copy the link or you just open it in a new powerpoint file so we have also looked at the analyze in excel option and the pdf option previously so you can just uh, explore these uh, on your own and play around with some of the configuration options and see what all is there but the important thing to remember is that you have exporting options available from both desktop and also from power bi uh, service environment so that's all for this particular video and i'll catch up with you in the next one